Early in the 1960s, World War II allies, the Soviet Union and the United States, were locked in an arms race known as the Cold War. In 1949, the Soviet Union conducted its first successful nuclear bomb test. In 1957, they launched Sputnik. Sputnik was the first spacecraft capable of orbiting the Earth. This led to fear of a nuclear strike would come not from bombers, but from space. The 1960s, the United States built many hardened nuclear launch sites in the United States, Turkey, and other allied countries. The hopes for peace was secured by what was known as mutually assured destruction. There were four missile bases controlled by Beale Air Force Base in Northern California. They were located at Beale Air Force Base, Lincoln, Chico, and the Sutter Buttes. Each site contained three Titan I missiles. Construction began January 1, 1960. The sites cost more than $40 million to build. About 600,000 cubic yards of earth was excavated. 32,000 cubic yards of concrete, 300 tons of piping, 90 miles of cabling, and 1,800 separate supply items were needed for each site. The silos were 150 foot deep and capped with 125 ton doors. The first missiles were moved to Complex 4A in Lincoln on February 28, 1962, the last was placed in Chico Complex 4C on April 20, 1962. On May 24, 1962, an explosion destroyed a Titan I and damaged the silo in Chico. It cost another $20 million to repair that facility. In May 1964, Defense Secretary Robert McNamara directed the accelerated phase out of the Titan I missile. Titan I had several drawbacks. The first was that it could not be launched from within the silo. The missiles would have to be brought to the surface, filled with oxygen before they could be launched. It took about 20 minutes to do this. The sites were not retrofitted for newer missiles. Fortunately, after the close call, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, negotiations between the Soviet Union and the United States started. Tensions were laxed slightly. Lincoln's missile site is located on Oak Tree Lane across from the Catholic Church. A few interesting notes. While active in 1963, the site was one of the film locations for Rock Hudson's movie a gathering of eagles. After it closed, it has had several different proposed uses. Actor Lloyd Bridges came to Lincoln for a photo shoot proposing the site be used to grow mushrooms. In 1968, Placer County acquired the property and has a vehicle maintenance shop and stores gravel at the location. Here's the first of three silos in one of the access tunnels. The silos were 160 foot deep and had housing for staff and a control center. The complex were linked with various tunnels. In 1991, groundwater at the silo was discovered to be contaminated with trichloroethylene, or TCE. TCE is a known carcinogen. According to officials from the Water Board, the TCE was used as a solvent and degreaser. After finger pointing between the Defense Department and Placer County to determine the source of the contaminations, it was determined that the Defense Department was at fault. Cleanup is still waiting for federal funding and is estimated to cost several million dollars.
It's amazing the amount of money spent during the Cold War. Fortunately, cool oil heads prevailed and we're still here. The missile base cost over $40 million in 1960 dollars to build. An unknown amount was spent on missiles and staff and will cost several more million dollars to clean up the site. It was only operational for two years. I'd like to thank my friend Georgia Sage for the use of her many historic photographs of the local Lincoln site.